Hey guys, my name is Rosie. Thanks so much for dropping by. This is a flip through of my Filofax Finsbury and the size pocket. So let's get this video started. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. My name is Rosie and I do videos on planners. So if that's something that you're into, make sure to click the subscribe button. I have been using this Filofax for a few weeks now and I'm so, so in love. I generally don't stay in a planner for more than like four or five weeks. So I think it's been over six weeks now or seven weeks even and I'm still so in love with this Filofax Finsbury. I don't know why it's taken me so long to get a Finsbury. I know this planner has been around for quite a while now, a few years, but I just never took the plunge in purchasing it. But I finally did and set it up and I'm just so, so in love. And I am so excited to share with you guys what I have in here. In the front here is a clip from cloth and paper. They did a collab with Ollie Clip and so I just have it in the front and when you open it up I just have two gift cards. One is to a restaurant called Cactus Club and the other is to the keg. I leave my gift cards in the front because I always forget to use it. So whenever I'm meal planning or whenever I'm planning a date night I always forget about my gift cards. So I decided to just put it up front so I don't forget. And this mesh pocket here is just a photo of my husband and I from not this summer, but last summer in 2020. In the front here is a clear dash foxy fix. This is supposed to fit the pocket size, but for some weird reason, it's a lot shorter than the actual pocket size inserts, but it's still really cute. I do like that layered look. And this die cut that is framing the photo is from Planner Monkey Co. And in the back here is another photo of my two daughters from um, Lauren's first Christmas. Uh, but yeah, I really like this photo. So that's in the back there. Here is just a clear dash. I'm not really sure where it's from, this polka dot thing, but um, stuck onto it are two sticky notes from cloth and paper. Behind that is just a week on two page cover from Filofax. It's just um, a year at a glance. And in the back here is 2020, so the year before and 2022, which is next year. In this pocket here from Paradise Planner Co, I just have a photo of my youngest, Lauren, and some dot stickers from a friend through Happy Meal, so it's not for purchase. And in the back here, is a photo of my daughters again. You'll see through my planner, there's gonna be a lot of photos of my family. I used to decorate my planners with a lot of dashboards and vellum and such from shops. I used to have like a minimal um, chic kind of decor look, but I've noticed that I wasn't really drawn to that. I really like photos of my family and I take so many photos anyways, so might as well print them out, put them all over my planner. And I know it's kind of silly because it's not like I don't know what they look like, but I do really like having photos of them um, sprinkled here and there in my planners. Here is a cover. Um, here is a cover dash from the minimal spot of 2021. And then it goes into kind of like the beginning pages of a weekly package from Cloth and Paper. I don't have their weeklies in here, but I do like this section. It has my name in the front. And then because I'm in Canada, I really like these conversions. So in here, I just actually widened this out. Um, I put Victoria, so that's currently the city that I'm in. So this is Pacific Standard Time. And then the Eastern Standard Time here is in Toronto because, I don't know, I'm Canadian. And I think what was originally here was New York. I just widened out. And then over here, I think it was Tokyo or Beijing. I'm not really sure, but I put Manila here. My heritage is Filipino, so I decided to put the Philippines time zone there. Here are the conversions that I was mentioning. Canada and the States has different um, systems. So in Canada, we use the metric system. And so this is why I like to have this page in here. Here is a year at a glance on two pages. And so what I did was use dot stickers. I put all of the dates I have off and all the stat holidays that I have off, I put a sticker on. And then I also highlighted Sunday and Saturday because I don't work those days. 
And then here are the holidays. There are some Canadian holidays that fall under there. I just don't reference that. I should cover up with sticky notes, but I haven't gotten around to do that. Here's a photo of my husband and my youngest, Lauren. And then my first section is my inbox. And so my inbox is just to do inserts from Filofax. So it's just, yeah, like a list of random things that don't really fit in my planner. Things for me to do like in the future, there's no set deadline. So I like to put it here and then I transfer it into my weekly or my daily whenever I feel like it's appropriate. I really refer to my inbox quite a bit because there is no deadlines in the things that I put in this list. So I try to refer to it at least like once a week. Just have a couple pages of to-do notes. And here is another photo of my whole family. My subsection here is my brain dump section. So I just leave like a line piece of paper here for me to jot down things. And here is something that's called a trigger list. This is from Vienna Ortiz and it just has things for you to think about when you're making lists of things to do. So a trigger list. So if any errands pop up, dentist appointments, shopping things, like anything like that, I really like this trigger list because it's great to spark some ideas when you are writing a to-do list. Here's another photo of me and my dog Edward. He's a Cavapoo. I love him so much. My next section is my schedule section and here I just have my work routine. I do have a specific planner for my work stuff but I do like to have this routine in my pocket just in case I don't have my personal ring planner with me. And then it goes into a day per page yearly overview and it's just is the same thing the current year on one page the last year and the next year 2022 and it goes into my dailies and they're super simple these dailies are from Filofax I really opted to have a very functional practical planner rather than doing the whole minimal deco type of deal so I just wanted to stick with the basic Filofax daily inserts and I'll just flip through it so you can see how I've been using them. And I do have the occasional sticker here and there, but I try really hard to just make this truly minimal. I have pretty much the whole month in here, dailies, and a couple days in August. Next section is my weeklies. And so I have a today marker for my dailies, but I also have a today marker for my weeklies. So this is the current week. Again, these Weekly inserts are from Filofax. I'm just going to go back so you guys can see how I've been using them. And this is the current week and this is the next week. So how I use both for the weekly and the daily is that every morning or the evening the day before, I write down my schedule and things I want to get done. And then usually on Mondays, I write down um, any events or anything like that that's happening for that week and any to-dos that, that I want to do for that day. So this is the current week. I don't have that many to do's for the weekend because I didn't really think of anything on Monday of anything that I need to get done um, on these days. But I do have a list of things to do for those days. It's not like I don't have anything to do those days. It's just that there are just things I just think of when I'm planning my week that go on here and then I just transfer them onto my daily. And I have the rest of 2021 in here. That's another photo of my daughter, Annabelle. My next section is my list section. Again, this insert is from Fiona Ortiz and it just has a list of lists to make. And so I don't have a list for every of these items, but I do have a list of a lot of the things that are mentioned here. So I have a meals ideas, some movies I wanna watch with my daughter, my oldest one, some date ideas, some movies I wanna watch, um, kid places that I wanna take my girls, sightseeing places, restaurants I wanna try, some YouTube ideas. And that's pretty much the extent of the list section. My next section is my finances. So I just have a list of my paydays for the rest of the year. I have a wish list um, for my purses and stuff like that. I have a never full that's on a payment plan. I have some large summer expenses and I just do a monthly breakdown. So I love having a grid inserts here for finances. It keeps all the numbers looking nice and clean, but I also really utilize the line pages as well. How I wanted to set up this planner initially was very, very simple and super minimal and functional and not like minimal, like the cloth and paper, you know, like pretty chic, like locks kind of deal. I just wanted to make it really functional and for me to just open my planner and just start writing. 
here's another photo of Lauren and it goes into my notes section. So my notes section is just literally notes. It doesn't really belong in anywhere. It's just like notes that I need to, you know, jot down or keep in mind. So this is like my July vacation ideas and then my vacation that I have um, put in for my job and the amount of days that I have left. Here is another photo of Lauren when she was younger. And then my next section is my family section and just present ideas. My next section after that, oh, here's another photo of Annie and another photo of my husband and Annie. So the next section is my personal section and just mom stuff. So here is literally like a list of mom stuff. So not only do I have a trigger list that's in my brain depth section, I also have a trigger list just for me. So this is what I refer to if I really need to be specific and think about things that need to get done for every aspect of my life. So that's what this list is for. And then here I just keep a, like a running list of my weight. I don't really use like a tracker. Some people use trackers from Peanuts Planner Co. But again, I just really wanted something simple. So I'm using a grid page just to do all of that tracking. And then here is just a list of my relationships. So how should I explain it? So every week I kind of like to look at this and see what I can do with all the people that mean a lot to me in my life. So I broke it down uh, as my relationships. I'm a mother, I'm a wife, I'm a daughter, I'm a sister, and I'm a friend. So I have a list of all my friends, a list of my one sibling, my husband, and I also have Edward and my plants in there. And so it's supposed to spark some ideas of uh, what I can do to focus on these relationships every week. So I like to refer to this every week when I am planning on Monday. So usually I plan my week on Monday. So I refer to that. Here is just like a list of how I want my planner system. I have a mini pocket and personal. I'm still trying to figure out like how I'm going to be using this system, but this is pretty much the system I'm using right now. And then I just have this dashboard. I'm not really sure where it's from. It was, it came in happy mail, but, um, it just has my daughters in here. And then the back here is just my husband and I in a card for where I get my haircut. And then here I forgot to mention, it's just a list of inserts that I have in each planner. And then I just have a page lifter here. And then in the back pocket, I just have some stickers. I will pull them out. I have these label stickers because I always switch around my divider labels. That's why I love these stickers. So these ones are from Planner Monkey Co. And I have other stickers that I use for my dailies and for my weeklies. And these ones are from Daisy Papers. I'll make sure to link all the shops that I mentioned down below. So that goes in there. Oh yeah, in my front pocket. I don't have anything in here either. I just have the cards and the photo. And then the back here, I don't really keep anything. I have $10 just in case. The dividers are from May Paper Co. She no longer sells these dividers, but um, maybe she'll bring them back. I'll make sure to link her shop down below. But yeah, I just, I'm so happy with these dividers. I've had them for a while now. And then this today tab is from Plan a Life to Love. I'll make sure to tag her Instagram as well. But yeah, again, there's not that many shops to really mention because I just, I just really wanted a more minimal functional setup this time. I know if you have clicked on my previous videos, there's a lot of like dashboards and such but I just really wanted something personal and functional for myself but yeah that is pretty much my simple pocket setup if you guys have any questions make sure to comment down below and I will make sure to answer them again I really wanted a super simple something extremely functional I just didn't want that much deco too much deco really like overwhelms me so I'm super happy I have a system that really works that's super clean, minimal, and truly, truly practical. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and think about subscribing as well. Until next time, you guys, thanks again for watching. Bye.